Hey, you Bernie lovers? I think I am. My, my shirt says I am. <laughs> so if we go all the way back to the 19th century, uh, rye whiskey really grew in popularity then. So no matter where you are in the world, you're gonna make a beer or a wine from whatever grows around you. So the Northeast is perfect for that. Two major rye producers, two major states. Rye grows in a non-humid climate, mm -hmm. and that's why in the North Northeast, so they had less corn and more rye. What happened to rye whiskey though after Prohibition? There's a lot of them that didn't come back. So sometimes it takes youth and experience. It also takes money. There's 51% rye and math. That leaves how much corn? There you go. <laughs> Next time you're asked to bring a dessert, bring, bring a half a gallon of good ice cream. Okay. And then you put a couple scoops in a wine glass, and then you bring the whiskey and you pour it over, and you're done. It's genius. Yeah, my it was pleasure. really, really great meeting. Thanks for having me on your show.